So those was the first number of 3710. 10 is creativity and confidence with inner gifts. Seven is trust and openness. Three is expression and sensitivity. So those on the 3710 life path are here to work through issues of creativity while learning to trust the wise and beautiful spirit in themselves and others. And to apply these inner gifts to create more harmony in the world. These individuals sometimes fulfill their life path in the world at large, as did famous Leo Tolstoy, Thirty seven tens can fulfill their destiny equally well within a circle of friends or a smaller community. However, since our life purpose rarely comes easily, thirty seven tens may take time to open up and trust themselves or the process of their life. They have a sensitive private disposition and must overcome deeply rooted insecurity. When looking at birth numbers, I do, I do not add together the final two digits of the four digit birth numbers. However, if we did add them together, we would come up with a 37, 10, and then one, underscoring the potential influence of double creative energy intensified by inner gifts of sensitivity, expressiveness, strength, and intuition. A sense of trust is important and useful for all of us, but for 37, 10s, it becomes a touchstone of life. Due to a lack of self-trust, most 3710s seek knowledge outside of themselves rather than trusting their own intuitive depths. To de the degree that 3710s subconsciously expect betrayal, they encounter betrayal in others and in the world. Many 3710s learn useful lessons about human connections of spiritual teachers and the importance of trusting their own inner knower. They recognize that they help create the drama of past betrayals. 3710s learn to appreciate the roles played by others. They have long range evolution whether it's intentional or not. They may not feel grateful to the specific individuals who broke a trust, but these 3710s feel gratitude to a larger spirit for their new awareness as a result of their experience. As 3710s apply the law of expectations and come to recognize the power of their hidden expectations, they change their assumptions, and in doing so, they change their life. They no longer need to encounter betrayal in the external world because they have learned to trust the larger process of their life. All 3710s deep down are wise and healing spirits. They can express themselves like angels in human form once they align themselves with a higher energy and will manifest that within them. These sensitive, refined individuals need to maintain a balanced, moderate lifestyle that includes inner work, such as contemplation or meditation, to create a safe, peaceful space in which they can feel nourished and refreshed as they come to discover their essential connection to the mystery and beauty of existence. 
they realize that whatever has happened to them, whether they call it good, good or bad or easy or difficult or pleasurable or painful, has served their highest good in learning. When 3710s are working in the positive, they bring a lightness and energy to those they come into contact with. Trusting themselves and the energy working through them, they walk forward confidently and lightly with their faith that even if they make a mistake, it's a natural part of their path. They have the courage and openness to express their deepest feelings and communicate their inner needs directly and clearly. They create trust based on understanding. They feel joy in their expanding gifts and creativity, which enables them to do refined work in healing for other fields as they tune into other people and feel a deepening connection with the natural world. This healing may take form in many different ways, such as art, music, or any other form of expression they connect with. When 3710s are working in the negative, they start out looking and trusting seekers. These individuals withdraw from others out of insecurity and fear of being embarrassed. So the very betrayal they fear comes true not revealing their feelings. They find or perceive that people misunderstand or even mistrust them. Angry, angry or depressed with themselves, they have disturbing dreams which reveal the shadow side they fear. They also feel repressed, bitterness about relationships, and they struggle with blocked, frustrated, creative energies. Physical, mal 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 uh, physical sickness may force them to confront issues of health. Nearly all 3710s have a sensitive, refined, physical nature with a delicate energy field. The base of the spine and the reproductive organs along with the solar plexus can be sensitive areas due to the sexual creative energy of 3710s. Their heart and knees may be sensitive as well. Whether male or female, these individuals need to be especially conscious of taking responsible precautions to avoid unwanted pregnancy since they are more likely than many others to have problems in this area as it does with other natural but reluctant or insecure healers, life may deliver physical problems so that 3710s can learn about the variety of healing modalities. Such 3710s often experience this learning as a refresher course because their subconscious is already well versed in energetic healing arts. To open and support their intuitive capabilities and sensitivities, 3710s benefit from a light vegetarian diet. Although many choose to add occasional fish or poultry in order to stay grounded. Otherwise, they thrive on a simple, pleasurable diet based on sound health principles. When insecurity blocks their creativity, 3710s can fall into self-destructive patterns, such as abuse of drugs, food, or sex. With their sensitivities, they don't tolerate abuse of anything very well or very long. Those working 3710 need regular, moderate exercise or some form of refined physical training, such as dance, tai chi, yoga, swimming, they need to keep their energy channels open and flowing. They need to trust that whatever they enjoy is perfect for them. 
Again, as with others, working one. The main function of exercise is to ground their energy so that it doesn't demand release through less constructive channels, such as addictive behavior. In relationships, like most people working seven in their birth number, 37 tens tend to trust their minds over their heart because the heart and feelings are associated with pain and mistrust due to perceived betrayals. Potentially, 37 tens have a deep connection to the love and wisdom of their heart. But to actualize this connection, they have to stop hiding inside their mind's defenses and learn to trust their feelings, even if these feelings sometimes involve pain. Many 3710s would rather listen than talk because they're afraid they might say the wrong thing. They prefer privacy to company, yet they feel the need to bond with someone. Because of insecurity, however, 3710s often expect a great deal of love without giving much back. And they may tend to rely on other people for strength. They often depend on a mate to make them feel com complete or a job to fulfill them, relying on outside influences. In this way, they resemble more issues with control and are looking for substitute parents to take care of them because they often feel unsure about taking care of themselves. They have mixed feelings about relationships with others and this reflects their uncertain relationship with themselves. Sexually, the relationship depends on openness and trust to flourish. The sex life of 3710s feels more fulfilling when it's tied to transcending the body rather than just physical release. Many 3710s may find that a sexuality workshop aimed at emotional sharing or even the practice of Tantra Yoga, a form of deep communication through sexual energy and relationships may open new doors to intimacy and meaning. Once 3710s open enough to express their feelings and needs and learn to trust their partner, their relationships flourish. Thirty-seven tens have a sensitive, highly artistic pattern. They work with and are inspired by beauty and nature. Nearly all 3710s find emotional healing and connection through music. They also display great ability to express themselves through art, acting, poetry, photography, design, and any other creative expression, including teaching. These individuals are here to create higher forms of healing, beauty, and inspiration. This does not mean that all 3710s are involved in healing professions, fine arts, or spiritual occupations. Higher forms of healing include a very broad spectrum of ways to balance the body, inspire the emotions, and clarify the mind. All of which heal various states of imbalance. This can include homemakers who create lovely and comfortable households, all bring more beauty into the world, teachers, friends, and colleagues that help to inspire and uplift others. Money doesn't generally play a central role in the lives of 3710s, except as a means of not having to depend on someone else. When 3710s begin to trust their abilities and manifest them in the world, money will appear in their life almost by magic. 3710s can help manifest their life purpose by focusing their attention on core issues 
and by generating specific action to transform key areas of their life. Trust your feelings and your inner gifts of sensitivity, strength, expressiveness, and intuition. Develop the courage to express your feelings. When you meet fear, don't back down. Work in a garden, read a book about angels. Reflect on the following questions. When it comes to your body, do you trust your instincts and intuition over outside experts or theories? Can you express your deepest feelings? If not, why? How can you best use your creative energy to bring more beauty into this world? When you don't feel trusting, how can you work through it? If these questions generate any insights, how might you put these insights into practice? Some spiritual laws that can change your life. The law of choices. We can choose to create or express in positive or negative ways. The law of flexibility. By staying flexible, we make the best possible use of changing circumstances. The law of action. To overcome insecurity, we need to acknowledge our vulnerability, but act in confidence. The law of intuition. As we stop monitoring others' opinions, we connect with our soul's wisdom. The law of responsibility. Deep satisfaction comes with knowing when to say yes and how to say no. Consider how you might apply each law into your life. 